Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm filming a case that was referred to me by a general dentist in the uh, Miami area. This is a case that's come in with prior access. Um, the dentist attempted to remove a broken screw and, and uh, wasn't able to do that. So here we are. It's a uh, it's a uh, keystone implant and uh, do a, I want to make a quick shout out to John and Amanda for helping me with all the materials and everything I needed to to take on this case. Uh, it's a very difficult case and so I'm doing a voiceover to explain more of the details uh, that have occurred. So this is the first of seven and the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and suction out any of the food debris that's um, apparent within the um, uh, the open end of the fixture. Now this fixture has a six lobe uh, configuration so I'm cleaning out the internal aspect and soon you'll be able to see the broken screw uh, or the coronal portion of the broken screw. Um, we have um, set up a typodont uh, to simulate this case in, ex in the exact location. So I've removed a typodont tooth and um, placed an analog, a similar analog yet a different color code. I believe this is a magenta and I'm going to be using a blue color code when you see it uh, in the typodont later on in the video. So that right there is the top. You can see it's a dome shape, um, more of an inverted dome shape cupped out area and on the sides internally where you see the spherical area where I'm pointing with the periodontal probe um, it's very very smooth it does not want to move it's pretty much locked in we're using a periodontal probe because we want to measure the distance of the um, chamber and hopefully the, the length of the screw that's missing and that'll give me an indication of how many threads I'm dealing with that are somewhat marred or maybe, <coughs> excuse me, maybe covered by the um, uh, the mass of the thread that's that's uh, pushed into that area. So right now I'm just measuring that, trying to get an indication of where I'm heading. Now I'm going to switch over to the Typodont. And here is the analog set up in a number 30 position. And so Keystone has an internal configuration for anti-rotation. Now I'm measuring one, two, maybe close to two and a half millimeters of threads that are are covered. So that could mean about one, two, maybe two, maybe three threads that I cannot visualize yet uh, with this case. So it was a good idea to just get the parts, ask the company for um, an actual abutment screw, and look at that, and try to simulate as much as you can when you're attempting cases like this. So I'm going to pick this up in the next clip where we'll talk about trying to torque an inverted cone. We'll get right into uh, using a purchase point and using some rotational force. Dr. Jerry Cuomo, we'll see you on the next clip. Thanks for watching.